guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to Inside the Hem. Today I'm here to talk to you about my Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges dress. This is one of the garments that's part of the Sew My Style Challenge where you make one pattern a month for a whole year. Um, the patterns are predetermined and you get them at a discount for that um, three month period. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a little bit behind. I admit this was one of the makes that was, um, over the summer, maybe July, June or July. Um, and I just wrapped it up here last month in September, but I mean, it's still like 85, 90 degrees here. So I will be wearing sundresses long into the rest of the year. But um, I did want to pop on and just show you the dress, show you what it looks like, show you my version and the fabric I chose and um, all of that kind of stuff. The pattern itself truly is a great little pattern. I don't know why this never jumped out at me initially. If it weren't part of So My Style, I don't think I ever would have sewn it. And that is so sad to me that this could have been living out there and I never would have made it. It makes me wonder what other patterns are like that. Um, if you know any, if you're, if you've experienced this exact feeling with any patterns, go, please leave them in the comments, please. Like I want to check them out because I feel like I just didn't give this one enough credit for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it is pretty simple. Um, it's just got, you know, a, um, it's a button front, although I did pearl snaps on mine instead of buttons, a, it's easier. <laughs> Maybe that's the only reason is that it's easier. No, it's easier. And I think snaps look cute, especially in like a chambrayish colored dress or fabric. Um, and they're fun, you know, you just, and they rip them off. Um, I don't know, less fussy maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I just like the snaps better um, than than button front. When it comes, like a button front shirt, yeah, that's going to have to be buttons. But sometimes the snaps are a lot of fun. They're super, super easy to install. If you've never done it, grab a pack from Joanne or somewhere, Waywack, whatever it is, and just you get your hammer and you just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Um, let's see what else so the fabric I mean the pattern has multiple sleeve options feel like oh I can't remember now I feel like I did shorten the sleeve some to make it more bicep length rather than elbow length um, I just thought that was more flattering on me um, let's see it has some bodice darting here but none on the sides which is fine it has a gathered skirt and then it has the most adorable little tie on the back. The tie is optional, but in my opinion, like it's what makes this dress. You can take that tie and you can let it out a lot. And then you've got a lot more room through the midsection, if you know what I'm saying. Like if you're in the States and you're not making this dress to wear on Thanksgiving, you're making a huge mistake <laughs> because you can just run in the bathroom real quick, undo that tie and give yourself room for another piece of pie or thirds up at the, <laughs> at the turkey bar or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I love the tie detail, not just for functionality because with some of the health issues I've been having, like bloating is a pretty serious issue. I could eat something unknowingly and then like an hour later, I'm like inches bigger. So it just doesn't bode well for really constricting clothes. But this I feel like can have a waist, um, have a defined waist, but still not be uncomfortable. If I need to let it out, um, I can. And that, that is really reassuring to me. Um, the fabric, before I forget, is currently available at Joanne. Um, it's in their linen section. If you have an organized store, then they will have it in their linen section as well. They had, I want to say, like more than one bolt at my store too. So I think they have a lot. Um, but obviously you can use chambray, you can use cottons, um, you know, any really mid light to mid weight woven fabric you should do really well although I'm saying that but like 
The sleeveless version I feel like you could do in a chalet or a stable knit or I mean there this dress is so versatile you could make it in a lot of different things. Um, so yeah. Um, the couple of issues that I did have with the pattern is one <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get these to match up. I tried. I thought I did it right. And then I sewed it on and I was like, nope, that's not right. And I didn't have enough fabric to recut them. So I'm stuck with this. Everyone on Instagram said it was no big deal. And they even brought up an interesting point and said that if they did all match, it would make you look wider because it would be one big, huge horizontal stripe. I had never considered that on horizontal striped garments before. So, in the end, I don't really notice it um, unless I am talking to you or someone else about it and, like, how I made it myself. Um, but, it, it, I don't know, it's one of those disappointing things. You know, if you spend the time on doing something and then it doesn't work out, you're like, well, darn, what did I spend all that time for? The second thing is, do you think I should add a, a button to the bottom? I feel like... I did the number that it called for, for this version, and I feel like there is a good foot and a couple of inches unbuttoned on the bottom, and for whatever reason, the hem wants to pull the button placket apart, so I'm feeling very exposed down there. I mean, everything's covered up, and there's really little chance that it would show anything, but it kind of makes me a little uncomfortable like when I'm walking and like the breeze catches one of the oh, one of the hems or something I don't know do you think I'm am I overthinking this and it looks great and I shouldn't do anything or does it look a little suspect and maybe I should add another button to the bottom um I don't know if it's pulling like that because there isn't enough flare at the like the hem is not wide enough I don't know why it's doing that Maybe if you made the Darling Ranges dress, let me know how it's working for you in the comments. That would be really helpful. Um, I'm going to leave it as is for now because, like I said, I'm not, like, indecent or anything. It's just maybe that's how the style of the dress is supposed to be. And I shouldn't mess with that. But we'll see. Adding a snap is literally no big deal. So um, if I decide to, you know, it'll probably happen like one morning I'll wake up and I'll feel like a particular way and I'll be like, I really want to wear this dress, but I want the snap and I'll go 7 a.m. Pull out my hammer, my snap tool and like start adding snaps to this dress. That's probably literally what will happen, but that's OK. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about the snap situation. Other than that, and like making the sleeve shorter, personal preference, um, I didn't have any issues sewing up this dress at all. I think maybe this top snap didn't go in evenly, like evenly spaced horizontally because it is pulling a little bit. Um, because I think this, these two aren't in line. But can't do anything about that now. So, I, and again, I really do love it. It has pockets. I mean, it's so comfortable. I just can't say enough about this pattern if you can't tell already. So um, if you didn't get it during Sew My Style, that's okay. You just pay 20% more than the rest of us. Um, but go grab it, honestly. It's a really great, cute little pattern for all of you that are going into summer now, like my Australian followers, um, make this this summer. And for the rest of you that live in the States, Go ahead and make it and wear it with leggings and a coat and all that jazz. And then come springtime, you will have a garment that you will wear all the time. Trust me, you will constantly wear it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.